Hello beautiful, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hey, I'm Chanel. If you're not new, well thank you for coming back. So, you guys, if you didn't see my video already, of uh, me chopping my hair off, okay, make sure you go check out that video. Make sure I leave it, leave a link down below in the description box. But if you're new here, hey girl, hey, thank you for coming over to watch me not slay, because I already did that already. <laughs> but if you're not subscribed, please go ahead and consider subscribing. The link is, I mean, the little red button down below, one of these sides. Go ahead and click on it, y'all, so y'all can see more content like this. Anyways, you guys. So, in my video that I finally finished, <laughs> that I started a couple weeks ago, I finally finished that video, which should be up before this one, y'all. Um, I showed you guys that I cut my hair, this makeup, well, not this makeup look, but uh, a different makeup look, and it was just like a hair and makeup deal right well in that video I asked if y'all wanted to see all the products I'm currently using for this new short deal here okay so I'm filming it anyway so I'm just gonna share it with y'all okay so I have everything in front of me and then some behind me and we gonna get to that okay so when I first relaxed my hair y'all was using a different relaxer you know I come to the conclusion that I don't like that one. So, number one, first things first, the relaxer that I will be using to maintain this look because y'all, I'm 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 loving this. I'm loving this short look. I just, mm. I know there are so many different relaxers and stuff that y'all can use, you know, to relax your hair. But let's be honest, you know, I really don't want to spend all that money, okay? So I'm just going to stick with Motions here. So I am using the Motions Classic Formula Hair Relaxer. And I'm more like doing like a texture. Not even a full relaxer y'all because I want to still feel the texture of my hair. So I'm like putting it in for like 5 to 7 minutes and rinsing it straight out. Not even combing it through because I like to feel the texture of my hair. So um, I recently did chop. I won't say chop. Cut my back down again like I said it grows pretty quickly and I use this and here and along with this I'm also using their neutralizing shampoo so I'm using their sulfate free um, active moisture neutralizing shampoo for smooth and silkiness um, with shea butter olive oil and coconut oil that is what I'm using to wash it out now, um, if I'm not doing, you know, of course, I don't relax my hair every single week, but I do wash my hair every single week. So, depending on the buildup, I am missing a shampoo, you guys. Alright, <laughs> now moving on to the other products that I use, you guys. So, if I need to, like, detoxify my scalp from all the product buildup, um, like once every two weeks and I just need to remove all the products and stuff off my hair you guys I'm actually using my African black soap shampoo now I am I currently have my shop closed there's a lot of stuff currently going on right now in my personal life so I have to keep the shop closed until sometime next year I'm supposed to have reopened it this month of November but it's not gonna happen so <laughs> but anyways I use my shampoo to detoxify my scalp to cleanse my scalp of everything to strip everything from my scalp and I do it like once to twice a month honestly I've been using my shampoo probably for like the last two years okay well the last year and a half that's how long I've been using my shampoo you guys so and I still use it every two weeks to detoxify my scalp and everything. Now on a weekly basis I do use the olive oil or the ORS um, creamy avocado shampoo here. Avocado? Creamy aloe shampoo here. Uh, yeah I just picked this up at Walmart y'all call it a day but I do use this to wash my hair on a weekly basis and then on those weekly basis I also use a strengthening and nourishing and replenishing conditioner also by ORS so as you guys can see my my cat's missing but you know it is what it is this is almost gone it's almost empty so I'm gonna have to get another one don't mind that that's my puppy <laughs> so of course besides moisture and stuff like that your hair needs 
protein. I hope he done. He might be. He might not. Girl, I don't know. We're going to keep this going, y'all. So it won't be so long. So, of course, your hair needs protein. So, I don't have the conditioner right here in front of me. But I do you the Alpha G Serious Care and Protection. This is their shampoo here for damaged hair. Anytime you relax your hair or color your hair, you are damaging your hair follicles. You are damaging your hair strands. So, I like to use this. Um, along with their conditioner which I left in the bathroom um, and sometimes I use that in conjunction when I relax my hair um, I also use their keratin two minute reconstructor I do use this this one's like almost empty I also go in with their keratin and green tea re um, restructurizer okay you guys I do use this sometimes not all the time usually right after I wash my hair I'll use that spray so sometimes I'll use the spray to add moisture to my hair right before I add my mousse to lay it down and all that good stuff um, now going back into the products I use you know for my hair of course you guys know that I so, as many of you know, I you know I tried out the Oilplex line, right? And I picked mine as a little trial kit, and I gave y'all my opinion on it and stuff like that. And this is what the little trial kit looks like, right? So, as y'all can see, this is what it looks like right here, okay? So, um, y'all saw me try this out. Well, y'all also saw me use the number zero. So I do use the number zero along with the number three that came in the box um, to help repair my bonds, especially when I'm relaxing my hair. I make sure I use this on my relaxer hair day. <laughs> okay, you guys. So like I said, this is the, the Oplex Intense Bond Building Hair Treatment. And this is their number zero. And I use this in conjunction with number three. You should use number zero and three together because they are therefore repairing the bonds in your hair. Like high hydrogen bonds and, and all those other bonds that are part of your hair strands. So number three repairs and strengthens all hair types. So that's what this one is. And as you can see, I actually bought the full size. The full size is only 3.3 ounces, you guys. But I bought it. I didn't buy the shampoo, I didn't buy the conditioner, but I am using these two on my relaxer hair days. But you can actually use these every time you wash your hair as well. When it comes to how much I spent on these, y'all, I can't be using them every single wash day. I just can't. But it also depends on how my hair currently is. Now when I am molding my hair and stuff like that, y'all, I'm just currently using the mousse that I have in my collection. And I'm no longer doing hair outside of you know period I'm just doing my own hair I'm not doing anybody else's hair right now every now and then I'll get asked to cut someone's hair so I'll do that but other than that I'm not doing hair for a living you guys um I'm just using the Lola body with coconut and shea oils wrap me foaming mousse if you guys happen to know a better mousse than than this one please let me know I am open to trying new mousses, but I am planning on finishing this one up. As you guys can see, I am close to halfway, but not halfway yet. But this is the one I'm currently using. It creates soft, it creates soft wraps, defines curls, tames frizz, and is for all hair types. So that is what I'm currently using. Now, of course, if you're using hot tools and stuff like that, you want to make sure you use some kind of heat protectant. So, I'm about to show you guys the ones that I'm using right now, currently. Uh, I have one from Living Proof. This is their Restore Instant Protection. It's weightless heat and UV protection. Right here is in this can here. This one's actually almost empty. So, this is what I am currently using right now. I also have the IGK Good Behavior smoothing sprays keratin like treatment in a can 24 hour frizz control and it's a heat protected up to 450 degrees so i am also using this i'm actually trying to use this one up first before you know i continue using this one but yeah 
you want to make sure you have a really good heat protectant. Now, I know y'all wondering, what am I using to oil my scalp and then seal in my oils, I mean my moisture and stuff on my scalp and throughout my hair? Y'all, I'm sticking with the same products I've been using for over a year now, and that is the EY Beauty Hair Oil. Okay, you guys? This is this hair oil is from my brand, from my line. Like I said, I have closed my shop down, so I'm sorry that you cannot try this. But if you have it, then I would like to hear your response down below in the description box so everyone else can know about it too. Um, but this is what I'm using on my scalp to make sure I keep my, my scalp supple and moistured and um, not being dry. Now, if you want to know what moisturizer I'm actually using for my hair as well, I am using my moisturizer, which is my hair moisturizer right here, you guys. I can't tell you how many of these babies here that I've went through. I just don't know how many I've been through, y'all. But um, I'm sticking with stuff that's working, and this is currently working on my hair. So I'm not going to change that right now. I'm just I'm just not. Now, many of you guys know I had a hooded dryer, y'all. I had a hooded dryer for the who, who knows how long, probably for like five, six years, right? It finally gave up and died on me earlier this year. And um, so I'm just using my regular blow dryer. But I wanted, I still wanted that hood feeling, that hood feeling, <laughs> that hood feeling whenever I'm molding down my hair and I'm wearing my, um, and I'm wrapping my hair up. So I purchased, where's the box? Let me get the box first. I purchased this soft bonnet hair dryer attachment right here from Amazon. Okay, you guys. And it comes with a headband along with it. So, let me show you what it looks I will do my best to try and leave a link to a lot of these items down below. But, um, like I said, I will try. So, the... Attachment, the hooded attachment comes in this little zipper bag like this. And then you open it up and inside of this little bag is the hooded dryer attachment and the headband, right? That comes along with it. And I do use this. And here is the little hooded dryer thing situation here. All right, you guys, this is what it looks like. It has a little drawstring on the side and then it has one, there's the other one, two of these little snappy things to snap around here to keep the dryer on your head. And also, you know, you can also tighten it and stuff. And of course, the hose that attaches to the dryer itself. And this actually has on here where you can pull this and tighten it around your dryer. If your dryer nozzle is bigger or smaller, it will fit. And of course, you can't be rocking no short hairstyle without having your wrap strips, y'all. So I got my wrap strips here, y'all. I just go to the to the, the hair store, which I went to the hair store for the first time in a year and a half, like a few weeks ago, okay? Because, you know, as soon as COVID hit, I avoided all beauty supply stores. I avoided them like the plague. <laughs> and <laughs> anyways, um... Yeah, so I just get me some strips there. I'm pretty sure I can just order a, a whole lot of them for cheaper on Amazon. But y'all, you know, I'm just, I just pick it up. The beauty supply store. Now, I do use a Denman brush for my hair, you guys. I'm not going to lie. I do use one. Sometimes I even use the, the big wide two combs uh, in my hair. And then what I like to use to help, like, lay my hair down before I wrap it. Y'all, I like this brush right here, okay? This is a good old brush, okay? Now, um, there is a haul video coming up where I'm talking about this brush in that haul video. I'm not sure when the haul video will go up, but let me know to make sure you're subscribed so y'all can see where this brush came from. But I like using this brush to brush my hair down right before I put my wraps on it. Y'all, I like this brush. I do. Now, going back to hot tools, y'all. So... Y'all know that I get my hot tools here. Okay, so one hot tool that I really do like is from Babe Bliss or Babe Bliss. This is their Nano Titanium little um, flat iron here. I do like this one. 
but since I recently just cut my hair shorter in the back I can't really use this one but I really do like this I had this one for a few years now I did have the babe bliss one inch one but sadly that one died on me you guys and I have not wanted to pay that money to replace it my bad just drop drop that so instead I picked this one up here from Amazon it was only $17 and it's from Con Air. This little flat iron here. This is their double ceramic, one inch flat iron, straight plus shine, extra long plates, heats up to 410 degrees, five temperature settings, and it's anti frizz protection. So I pick this flat iron up. This is what it looks like. Okay, flat iron, as you guys can see, I have been using it. So like the inside of the ceramic plates, they're like a rose gold, really, really pretty. And I like the fact that they have this little piece on here on the cord itself because you can just type your cord and keep it together and it does not come off. So that's like really nice and convenient. When you turn it on, you push this little button on the side, you have a minus sign and a plus sign. So and you have the little numbers right here to let you know how hot it is. So when you automatically plug it in and turn it on, it automatically goes to 338 degrees um, automatically. So I really do like this little flower. So the next brand, I mean the next hot tool I picked up is from this brand right here. You guys, I don't really know how to say that, but this is the brand here. I read some of the reviews before I picked it up and then I, I picked it up. Now this item does come with like um, a sleeve for you to put it in but I think I left it in the bathroom y'all and this is just a really a really skinny flat iron you guys see how skinny it is but it's small enough to so I can curl let me see so I can get in here you can see my little hair I can get in here and curl my hair okay y'all <laughs> So uh, I picked me up this right here. This one's pretty cool. So as you can see, there's the name of the brand. It's orange, but inside of here, if you guys can see that, there's a button here. This is the power button. So you plug it in, it automatically says off. This is a little LC oh. LCD screen right here. <laughs> so when you plug it in, it says off. So you have to hold this button, turn it on, and then you can push the, pos the plus button or the minus sign here to make it hotter or cooler. Uh, depending on what temp that you want for this here. So a little bit about this flat iron. Yes, this is not sponsored. I just really do like this flat iron here. It has, um, it heats up to 400. I'm just reading the back of the box, you guys. It heats up to 450 degrees. It has floating plates on here, which means that as you're turning, as your um, flat iron, like it kind of moves, the plates kind of move with your hair so there's like no snagging it has um, of course the adjustable temperatures which I told you guys uh, it heats up really quickly which it does it heats up within 15 seconds and there's a safety shut off system on here I really do like flat irons that have that um, this shuts off on its own after 60 minutes I know it's a long time but it that, that's just just their safety feature on here after 60 minutes of not being used it sh shuts off by itself so that's nice now I know y'all probably thinking I just showed you guys my shampoos my protein my bonding treatments my oils my hair moisturizer my hot tools my my mousse my hairspray well heat protecting spray um but that's not everything y'all that's not everything I actually have a new thing I'm gonna be so I'm actually going to be incorporating this here. This is the Design Essentials Agave and Lavender Blow Dry Silk Press Collection. It's the lightweight thermal protectant, protectant serum. Okay, fine to normal hair. I'm actually going to be incorporating this as well, but like, I just got this, y'all. I mean, I haven't even used it yet. <sighs> but I know y'all probably thinking, okay, Chanel what are you currently using for a deep conditioner 
because y'all I try to deep condition my hair I try to do it every wash day um but if I don't deep condition every wash day I deep condition every two weeks so the weeks I do this and the deep conditioner of choice that I'm personally using everyone has their own opinion everyone uses their own conditioner that works for them this is just what currently works for me and this is what I'm using so for a deep conditioner I am currently using this baby right here y'all know this I done showed y'all my, my friend before like during the summertime this is silicone mix you guys so I love this stuff I do and it's, I, I love it, love it. They have different types of them. Um, they have a bamboo one that I've been wanting to try, but I have yet to try them out. But I use, you know, the original one here. I don't, I, <laughs> now when I first brought this to y'all, I was using it on my natural hair. And I was telling y'all, I love this stuff whenever I wash and condition my wigs, y'all. <laughs> that ain't no lie, okay. I do love it. I've been using silicone mix on my on my wigs and extensions for y'all probably 10 years, okay? <laughs> 10 years. So I really do love this stuff. And now that I'm relaxed, like I don't know what it is, but this works better on my relaxed hair than it ever did on my natural hair, which is weird y'all it's just weird and I love how my hair comes out after it and everything like that so this is what I'm currently using as my deep conditioner you do not have to leave it on that long it says two to three minutes I normally have mine on for an hour possibly two to three hours but that's my like my whole wash day routine and I'm at home not like doing nothing but my hair and laundry and chores <laughs> okay so but yeah so this is currently my deep conditioner that I am using um, you can find silicone mix on Amazon. I think this big container here was like 20 bucks and this is 60 ounces. So, all right, you guys. So that's everything I wanted to share with you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys, you know, enjoyed watching me sharing all the products that I'm currently using on my hair right now. Uh, yeah, of course I'm not relaxing my hair that often. But I did want to show you guys what I am going to be using to maintain my hair and this look. Um, yeah, I'm loving this. I'm loving this short hair. I'm loving it. It's just. And I'm just going to let you guys know at nighttime. Um, if I just washed my hair, I will, of course, put my boots and everything like that. I won't. I don't even um, use the hooded dryer thing. I have my strips on my wrap strips on and I put this on on top of it and I put my bonnet on y'all and I go to bed <laughs> and then in the morning my hair is laid I don't curl it or nothing like that I go to work throughout the week uh, that's just normally how I do my hair for the week now if I am if I'm not washing if I if I did not okay now if I did not just recently wash my hair, I normally will use one of my head scarves that I used to sell on my site. I will just tie my hair up with that in the front, have the satin, I mean, yeah, the satin side against my hair and the cotton side out facing, you know, like the wall right now. And I will just tie it up, lay it across here, tie it up. And curls wise, y'all, I put some, what is that, what is that? I put some hairspray. Where's my hairspray? I don't have it right here. But I'll use some hairspray. I'll spray some hairspray in my hand with a little bit of gel. And I'll rub it together and I'll just spike my hair up <laughs> in the morning. So it's like I'll go on this way. And that's just how I wear my hair to work. And um, yeah, that's basically it. I put my little scarf on. And I put my bonnet on and I go to bed. That's, that's how I'm currently maintaining my style. Now, as y'all can see, the dogs are howling at something, so I gotta go figure out what that is. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're new here, hey, I'm Chanel. That's my puppy. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Always remember to embrace your beauty. 
And of course, I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye.